I remember it like it was yesterday. As a young teenager in my small town of Pine Village, Indiana, I was introduced to my very first picture show, or moving pictures, as mother used to call them. For those of you who are younger than I, although it may be hard for you to believe, there was entertainment before computers, video games, DVDs, video cassette players, and even television. If you're an old codger like me, you may share memories similar to my own. It was a simple time, a time of new discovery, joy, and togetherness. While most kids my age would spend Saturday nights drinking soda pop and watching movies at the drive-in, picture shows were something our family always shared together, from my earliest memory. Although my three siblings and I may have missed out on some quality time with friends, we didn't resent our upbringing and didn't feel too hard done by. For years, moving pictures brought our family into worlds of fantasy and adventure like no other form of entertainment could. I remember the vivid colors and sounds transporting me to another reality, a reality where I could do anything or be anything. The smell of popping corn brings me back to where it all began. It was a tale of adventure and intrigue set on the exotic island of Tonga. I should mention that our family was a family of meager means. Mother did not own a camera, or even paper. Although she was not much of an artist and her hands very shaky, she had taken the time to draw characters with black paint on carefully selected pieces of bark, and had set them on a colorfully decorated box for us all to see. Although father had no formal musical training, he always filled the house with music and various other sounds. He owned no instrument and, although he was severely hard of hearing from an early age, he was able to use his voice to mimic sounds of various animals and any instrument known to man. After father's moving musical introduction, rife with exotic sounds and rhythms meant to transport us to the magical Isle of Tonga, the pictures would begin to move. You see, up to that point, we had never seen mother's painted bark pictures move before. We had often seen her paintings sitting around the house and paid them no mind, perhaps because they were, in fact, quite motionless. One could argue that a motionless picture, hand drawn on smooth bark, has a timeless charm of its own. I'd always felt that way about painted pictures. But when mother's pictures moved, we all knew that we were experiencing something we'd never seen before, something profound. We knew we'd never see the world the same way again. How did the pictures move? Perhaps popsicle sticks were attached. We had eaten a lot of popsicles, or ice lollies as mother used to call them, days before. Mother did enjoy collecting small pieces of wood. In fact, it was her favorite hobby. To me, though, the moving pictures were pure magic. Although I don't remember every detail of every scene from my first picture show, I do remember a character named Earl who spoke only Tonganese. Although none of us spoke the language, including mother, that didn't seem to matter. Mother was not well traveled, yet she seemed to have an uncanny ability to mimic any foreign language with the greatest of ease. Perhaps that's why she and father got along so well, he with his mouth sounds and she with her pretend languages and bark pictures. I sat completely enthralled as we all succumbed to the emotion of the moment. If it's true that a picture says 1000 words, I can tell you that mother's moving pictures may say a few more. As I watched, I learned to love the Tonga Earl, his subtle ways, his vulnerability and humanity, and every last minute in his company. Thanks to father, the soothing sounds of Tonganese birds, native land mammals, ocean waves crashing on the shore, and the ocarina filled the room, my ears, and my soul. I was experiencing my first moving picture. Tears of joy streamed down my face. I lost myself in another place and time. Had the message this is not real not been painted on the decorated stage box in black paint, I may not have been able to think otherwise. You see, mother made sure, as all good parents do, that her children were always firmly grounded in reality. 
It was as if she both feared and expected the power of moving pictures on the impressionable minds of her young children. How right she was.